Hi, welcome to International Recaps. This story is more than 100 years old. When people didn't use medical science, people used to die of ordinary diseases because it was not allowed to do surgeries and operations. The story starts with a physician who has a deep understanding of herbs. Through this, he cures the minor illnesses of the people. Many people are cured by his treatment. There are some people who do not like him. They call him a sorcerer and believe that he heals people through black magic. That's why people are cured. Because of this, neither they like him nor do they receive any treatment from him. Despite this, the physician doesn't stop helping people as much as he can. He used to cure them and also inform them about many important things as well. He can heal them with some effort. And if they have any disease again, they could treat them with the help of many herbs on their own. One day, this physician was telling the villagers about this all. Meanwhile, we are shown a young boy whose name is Rob. He was listening to this conversation with the physician and was curious about all of these things. After listening to this, he returns to his home. After he reaches home, we see that Rob's family is quite poor. He lives with his two siblings and his mother. His mom is quite ill, but she doesn't know which disease she has. That night, Rob's mother's health worsened. When he puts his hand on her heart, he feels quite strange. As a result, he becomes nervous and afraid. Now, in this situation, he could not understand what he should do. Suddenly, he reminded him of the physician, and he rushed to him. He tells him about his mother's unstable condition. Immediately, the physician comes with him. When they return home, many villagers will have already gathered at his house. They do not allow the physician to treat. As a result, Robin's mother's health deteriorates, and she dies on the spot. She had appendicitis, which people didn't know about at the time. The next day, the villagers take Robin's brothers as their servants. As a result, Rob was left alone, and he was very depressed over his mother's death. Because of this, Rob decides to go with the physician. The physician agrees, as he has no objection to this either. Then they started their journey. Also, we understand that this physician has no destination or home. He alternates between living in one village and another. Go around and start treating people. In this way, the years passed, and Rob was now an adult. Even today, he is trying to find a cure for appendicitis. That was the cause of his mother's death. He didn't want what happened to his mother to happen to anyone else. He was able to find a cure for this disease. But even this physician was not able to find a cure for this disease. He treats people externally only with herbs. He does not know the inner workings of the body. One day, while treating a man, Rob checked his heartbeat. He began to feel strange again. He felt the same way he felt at the time of his mother's death. He was afraid. Because of this, he felt quite strange, and he said to the physician, I know he's going to die tonight. And so it happened, the man died at night. It is clear that Robin has the ability to predict death. For the first time, he felt the same way about his mother. That's why he was so scared. The physician was shocked at his ability. Well, the villagers think that Robin and the physician are responsible for this man's death. They allege that he died due to treatment. Because of this, they beat them and expelled them from their village. At this time, the physician has diagnosed glaucoma in the eyes. Because of this, he could not see anything. And at that time, there was no cure for this disease. Later in the night, they learned from people. There is a Jewish doctor who has a 100% cure for this disease. That is why they went to the doctor and operated on his eyes. Because of this, the physician could see again. That means it was a successful operation. Robin was very happy after seeing this miracle. He asked the doctor, where did you learn this operation? The doctor talks about Ibn Sina, a senior doctor. He lives in Persia and has a famous hospital. Besides this, he teaches people medicine. There is no disease that he cannot cure. Robin was happy to hear this. He decides to go there for study, so I can learn to treat appendicitis. But the Jewish doctor warns that if you want to go there, you must cross Egypt. People of other religions are not allowed to pass through it. Despite this, Rob decides to go there. As he leaves, he thanks him for whatever he learned from him. The physician bade him farewell with many prayers. Later, their paths diverge, and it takes him a year to reach Egypt. There were many other Jews on the ship he was going on. He goes as their servant. When they arrived in Egypt, the Jews taught him how to behave, how to worship, and how to survive alone. Robin now has to go from Egypt to where Ibn Zin's hospital is. They travel there through the desert for two months. Among them was a rather beautiful girl. She is being taken to Persia to be sold. On the way, they see an absolutely brutal army because they have wiped out an entire village. In the same village, they find a little girl who is taken with them by their group girl. During the trip, the child's health begins to deteriorate, and Rob treats her. This way, Rob and the girl become friends. Slowly, they liked each other. As they pass through the desert, a sandstorm hits the desert. It causes them to separate. When the storm ended, Rob was the only one there, because everyone there is dead. He comes alone to the city of Ibn Sina's hospital. 
This city belonged to the king of Muslims. Now, Rob somehow ends up in the hospital in his worst condition. But seeing his condition, people beat him and kicked him out. Later, when a man finds him unconscious, he admits Robin to the hospital. When Robin regained consciousness, he felt no pain from his wounds. So he asked the man standing next to him, What medicine have you given me? Because even though I'm injured, I don't feel pain in my wounds. Something happened to me. During the conversation, Rob tells the man, I want to study medical science and learn to heal people. So, I want to become a physician, or any general doctor. The next day, Rob was taken to a class, and there he knew, the person with whom he had spoken yesterday. He was none other than Ibn Sina. He teaches physics, philosophy, and many other similar subjects in his class. Rob finds a lot to learn, including about old and famous scientists. Also, he befriends two boys there. Robin found that the girl he befriended was alive, but she is going to marry an old man soon. The man was from Robin's friend's family. Robin is now very sad to hear this. Soon, Robin's friend discovers that the girl and Robin like each other. Later, Rob approaches a girl. But the girl was not well, she was sick. She was later rushed to the hospital, and her life was saved. Meanwhile, Ibn Sina also learned about his ability. He can predict when someone will die. He discusses his mother's appendicitis with Ibn Sina. He claims, because of this he wants to help the poor. However, the issue was, even in this large hospital, human experiments were not allowed. Because of this, Robin was quite sad and disappointed. He thinks I have reached the other side of the world, but I could not do what I wanted. Obviously, I could not learn to cure the disease that caused my mother's death. That is why he asks Ibn Sina questions. Why can't we see it in the human body? After hearing this, Ibn Sina said to him, in today's world, mutilation of the human body is considered bad in all religions around the world. No one can perform surgery here. Perhaps, these surgeries and operations will become common in 100 or 1000 years. But that is not possible nowadays. There were three groups in total, and one was the Muslim king's group. It encourages people of other religions to live in harmony, and with love. It focuses on medicine and science. The second group were the Persians. The third group includes visitors from another city. These were the savages who killed the whole city. But both of these groups do not like the rule of the Muslim king. According to them, he is a weak king which is why there are often mysterious activities against him. One day, a man with a terminal illness was sent to their city by the cruel army. As a result, the disease spreads rapidly throughout the city. Rich people fled the city, including the girl's husband. The girl also fell victim to this disease while staying at home. Seeing the state of the city, all of Ibn Sina's students begin treat the poor and sick in the city. Those who suffer from this disease see black spots on their bodies. Rob suggested when he saw this, we have to surgically remove the roots of these dark spots. Because no surgery is allowed, that is why it is impossible. Now, thousands of people start dying within a short period of time. Because Rob is so mature, he understands that. The disease is spreading rapidly because of rats. They make poison to kill rats. As a result, the entire city's rats died. The rest remained unharmed. Later, people start healing with their medicines. The girl also escapes death. Rob is really happy. The whole condition of the city returns to normal as before. All the rich men who fled returned, including the girl's husband. A patient with appendicitis enters the hospital. But the surgery did not take place, and he died while suffering from severe pain. However, before he died, Rob asked the man if he would allow him to surgery after his death. And the man admits this. Now, it was this disease that bothered him continuously. That's why he starts doing surgery on the body without anyone's permission. Although he was very scared. Still, he begins surgery. He places the heart between his hands to test its functionality. He draws all the parts of the body that will be useful to him later. Here he learns exactly where appendicitis is, and how to get it out. But few people understood his work. So, they take Robin and Ibn Sina to the Persian ruler. They are sentenced to death. Now, it became difficult for other Jews to live because of Rob. That is why he reveals his religion in this dangerous environment. I am a Christian, not a Jew, so please don't punish other Jews because of me. But no one was willing to believe that Rob was a Christian, because he had converted himself to the religion of the Jews. The girl's husband also realizes that Robin and the girl like each other. He buries her body in the ground. Then, Rob's Jewish friend gets mad at Rob. You deceived us all by saying that you are a Christian and not a Jew. At this stage, the king is shown falling ill. Actually, he has appendicitis and no other diseases. He frees Robin and Ibn Sina from Persian captivity. Later, he informs them, this is my commandment. I have given you permission to perform surgery on me. Robin is horrified to hear this, because he had never had surgery on a living person. However, they have no choice but to do this. Either they should perform surgery on the king or they should die by execution. Rob now agrees to the operation. 
but in exchange for the operation, he wanted something. The girl must be freed. The king agrees, and so the girl is set free. For the first time, Ibn Sina, Rob, and his friend begin surgery on the king. They had to face many problems and were very confused. They finally succeed in taking out his appendicitis. Rob seemed content and peaceful after the operation. He fantasizes about his mother. The king is fine, so he and Rob become friends with each other. But all the Persians were angry with the king for releasing Rob and Ibn Sina and not punishing them. So the Persians meet the dangerous group head on. Later, the two groups unite and attack their city. Apart from this, a third group of people attacked from outside. As a result, chaos spreads throughout the city. Besides this, they have set everything on fire. The survivors were saving their lives. Gangs set fire to the library in the only hospital. Later, we see Ibn Sina sitting in his library. Later, Rob comes to see him one last time, and this is their last meeting. Ibn Sina gave Robin an important medical diary. You are a physician, a doctor, and he gives Rob an important name. Ibn Sina was also ill, which greatly worried Robin. Reluctantly, he took the girl away. He took her back to his city. After marriage, they open their hospital. Rob tries to find his lost siblings. A few years later, the same physician from the beginning returns. But no one seeks treatment from him. A boy tells him about Robin's hospital, and the physician is happy to know. Rob opens his hospital, and he goes to see him. They happily meet once again. The movie ends with this. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks.